The photography community is buzzing with speculation surrounding Sony's highly anticipated A1 Mark II, a professional mirrorless camera expected to push the boundaries of camera technology. Rumors suggest that this flagship model might feature an innovative global shutter sensor, promising ultra-high resolution images and unprecedented burst speeds. While these potential advancements sound exciting, there are significant concerns about whether these performance goals can be achieved without compromising on other critical aspects of image quality. At the heart of the debate is the fundamental difference between global shutter and the more traditional rolling shutter sensor designs. A global shutter captures all pixels simultaneously, making it ideal for fast-moving subjects such as in sports, wildlife, and photojournalism. This enables fast readout speeds, a valuable feature for professionals who require quick bursts of images. However, this simultaneous exposure method is less efficient at gathering light compared to a rolling shutter, which captures the image line by line. This difference can lead to trade-offs in low-light performance, dynamic range, and color accuracy all of which are areas where Sony's current Alpha Series cameras are particularly strong. The rumored A1 Mark II could be packing a 50-megapixel sensor and delivering a burst speed of 120 frames per second FPS, or more. Achieving such performance with a global shutter would be a significant technical feat. However, imaging experts argue that despite recent advancements in global shutter technology, these sensors still lag behind in image quality compared to rolling shutters, such as those found in Sony's current flagship, the Alpha 1. Without groundbreaking innovation, the inclusion of a global shutter in the A1 Mark II might actually result in a decline in overall sensor performance, despite the potential speed benefits. Another point of concern is whether such extreme burst speeds would genuinely meet the needs of Sony's professional user base. The recently released Sony A9 III, for example, features a 24-megapixel global shutter and is designed specifically for speed. In contrast, the Alpha 1 series has always been positioned as a versatile all-around performer, balancing high-resolution stills and video capabilities for a wide range of applications. Many professionals depend on the Alpha 1 for its combination of image quality, dynamic range, and low-light performance, rather than sheer speed. For these users, trading off these qualities for faster burst rates may not be appealing. There is a growing sentiment among experts that Sony might be better off refining the Alpha 1's existing strengths rather than focusing solely on headline-grabbing speed. Improvements in areas such as autofocus precision, build quality, video performance, and overall user experience might offer more tangible benefits to professionals who rely on their cameras for real-world work. After all, Sony's current success with the Alpha 1 lies in its ability to be an all-around powerhouse capable of handling both demanding photography and videography tasks without compromising on quality. That said, Sony has a long history of pushing the envelope in camera technology, and it's possible that they have made breakthroughs that could combine both speed and image quality. One possible scenario is that Sony will continue to diversify its product lines, offering specialized cameras for specific needs while maintaining versatile flagship models for general use. This approach would allow Sony to cater to professionals who prioritize different aspects of performance, whether it's high-speed action photography or high-resolution stills with superior dynamic range and color fidelity. As exciting as the rumors around the A1 Mark II may be, it's important to temper expectations. The potential inclusion of a global shutter sensor could indeed offer game-changing speed for capturing fast-action subjects, but it also brings challenges. Global shutters, while fast, typically struggle in areas where rolling shutters excel namely, in low-light sensitivity, dynamic range, and color accuracy. Professionals who rely on the Alpha 1's versatile performance may not be willing to sacrifice these qualities for the sake of speed alone. Sony's Alpha Series cameras are renowned for their ability to strike a balance between performance and image quality. This balance is particularly critical for professionals who need a reliable tool capable of delivering high-quality results across a range of shooting scenarios. While sports photographers and those capturing fast-paced action would undoubtedly benefit from faster burst speeds, a significant portion of Sony's professional user base likely prioritizes other features, such as autofocus accuracy, durability, and video capabilities. 
These users may not see the need for extreme speed if it comes at the cost of other essential features. Moreover, introducing a global shutter into the A1 Mark II could complicate matters for photographers who rely on the camera's versatility. For example, landscape photographers and portrait artists often prioritize dynamic range and color accuracy over burst speed, while filmmakers need a balance of image quality and video features. Sony would need to find a way to bridge these competing demands, perhaps by developing a hybrid system that can switch between global and rolling shutter modes depending on the shooting scenario. A hybrid shutter system could offer the best of both worlds, the speed required for action photography and the high fidelity needed for more static or artistic work. However, such innovations come with their own set of engineering challenges. Cramming ultra-high resolution, blistering burst speeds, and top-tier image quality into a single flagship product is a monumental task, and it's unlikely that every feature can be maximized without some form of trade-off. This is why some experts believe that Sony might continue to diversify its product lineup rather than focusing on creating a single camera that does it all. The Alpha 1 series could remain the go-to choice for professionals who need a versatile, all-around performer, while more specialized cameras like the A9 series could cater to those who need extreme speed. In the end, professionals need reliable tools that deliver consistent, high-quality results in real-world conditions. While the promise of a global shutter is exciting, the reality might be more complex. If the A1 Mark II does indeed feature this technology, it will be fascinating to see how Sony balances the demand for speed with the need for uncompromised image quality. However, a more measured, evolutionary update to the Alpha 1 that focuses on refining its existing strengths while introducing thoughtful improvements might ultimately serve Sony's professional audience better. The speculation surrounding the A1 Mark II serves as a reminder that while technological progress is thrilling, it must also be grounded in practicality. As we await the official details of Sony's next flagship, it's wise to keep in mind the bigger picture balancing innovation with the everyday demands of working professionals. While it's exciting to dream about the next big leap in camera technology, the real test will be how well Sony can meet the needs of its diverse user base without sacrificing the core qualities that have made the Alpha series so successful. In the meantime, it's crucial for the photography community to approach these rumors with tempered expectations, understanding that advancements in one area often come with trade-offs in others. Only time will tell whether Sony can deliver the perfect blend of speed, resolution, and image quality in the A1 Mark II or whether the company will continue to build on its strengths with an evolutionary approach that offers incremental but meaningful improvements.